Welcome back to my corner of the internet, guys. I am the Lucid Dream, and today we are going to take a look at a couple of frauditors that seem to be very familiar with spending time on their knees. First and foremost, though, thank you to all of my channel members and subscribers. Without you, I would not be here. So as always, every day, thank you. Let's go ahead and get into it. So today, something interesting happened to Mr. Ghost. Somebody decided to call a false police report in that Mr. Ghost had a dangerous weapon on him. Rest assured, guys, the only dangerous weapon that Mr. Ghost has is these incredible pythons here. But I'm not out to hurt anybody. So as you're going to see, Mr. Ghost was surrounded, swarmed by officers in uniform and very dangerous weapons. But at the end of the day, I made it out alive. I made it out to another bright, shiny day to record this video for you guys. Check it out. I know you're all worried about me, but Mr. Ghost is okay. Mr. Ghost is going home to his three Latina girlfriends. And not anyone with a gun can stop him from doing that. That's for damn sure. I'm down with you guys, but just don't put me on camera, man. Well, I have to. No, no, dude, I was just, I'm down with you guys. I just want to be well, like, can I help you, or? No, I was just going to ask. What kind of footage you guys are doing? I mean, do you have a question, or? Yeah, dude, but homie, you're making it. You're killing the vibe, dude. I'm just asking you. I have to record everyone that talks to me. You could attack me if I turn this off. Yeah, but that makes you look like a pussy, though. I am. Oh, yeah, I can tell. I, I am. I have a good one, sir. Get out, get out of the way. You're in the road, dude. Hey, be careful. Hey, be careful of him. He wants me to turn my camera off. So that little glitch you just saw is not your eyes playing tricks on you. That glitch was a mistake in his editing, and I think a very big mistake because it kind of contradicts his entire narrative of this video. So the video is called Cop Swarm Man with Camera Guns Drawn Over False Police Report at USPS. This image is them standing in front of a bank. Now, you're going to find out real soon what the cops were called on them for. And once you know that they were hanging out in front of the bank, it's going to make a lot more sense. There he is. False police report on you, buddy. We got you, asshole. You just committed a crime. We got you, asshole. Yep. This is the man making a false police report. Here he is making a false police report. Trying to get me shot. Yep. False police report. Following me, he's telling me I'm making a false police report. Yeah, I heard what you told the police. He's, he's sitting here with the whole entire like. Yeah, I am. USA thing on. Yep, USA bandana, very illegal, very dangerous, right? Um, Call the police for a camera. The has the pistol. It's Call the police. His belt. Nobody I has a pistol. Fucking... False police report. You're going to jail, hey, buddy. No, hey, I'm being I'm I'm being harassed. You're going to jail, I'm buddy. Nobody has me. a pistol. I just said it's it's in the it's in the post office. Nobody has a pistol. You're going He's to jail. Brandishing a pistol. Nobody has a pistol, buddy. You're going to jail for a false police report. Okay. All right. We'll false see police there. report. Yep. Yeah. Well, let's just yep. wait and we'll let oh, the we police will. work it around. You're done, buddy. Okay. And what you, you want worry? police to come with guns drawn on me? Bob Love. Yeah, Bob Love, buddy. I got you on camera. False police report. You're going to jail. Okay, great. I'm filing a report on you when they show up. Okay, great. Yep. Get what someone over you, here. I'm sorry, what dog do you have in the hunt? You're accusing us of brandishing weapons, buddy. I'm not buddy. accusing you of anything. You I'm did. Accusing, like, you're just harassing me. I'm you not accusing away. you of anything. I heard you on the phone. It doesn't matter. It does matter. Okay, now the Trump guy's got a fucking pistol on his phone. Hey, he's gonna you get the away from me, man. False police report. Yeah. Yeah. But he, he explained this to that guy. He's all the way over there. And he's calling 9-11 for 
just to blame, you know, now the cops are going to come over here. They, they are going to. Yeah. Somebody else will. Yeah, yeah, I know. I just want to let you know. Yeah, that's right. So even in the video that they did decide to show people, you can see that they did not have the police called on them for having a camera. That is absolutely false. Their entire narrative falls apart. That man looked genuinely scared. And considering we don't have the entire first half of their interaction with this guy, we have no idea what went on. But that wasn't some jerk just calling the police because he could. So I would be very curious to know what happened that they edited out. We already have evidence that they edited out a good portion of their video, considering they were standing in front of Chase Bank to begin with. So why would they call the police on someone who um, doesn't have a pistol? Oh, could it be because this jackass is wearing a belt buckle that looks like he has a pistol tucked in his waistband? And you're not going to tell me that that isn't intentional. If I know anything about this channel from the videos I have watched, they intentionally do things like this for the reaction. And then they try to pretend that they don't. They edit out so much and apparently just miss this. Now, looking at this, you can 100% see why an outside observer would think that he has a pistol. Because it looks like it. It genuinely looks like he has a pistol tucked in his waist. So you have now two men walking around with masks and a pistol. What do you do? I saw my keys. Why? What happened? All I have is my keys. The belt buckle. The belt buckle.
Cops here? Well, I mean, they're gonna they're gonna get us. They're gonna catch us. We don't want to run away. That's that's even worse. They're right there. They're already here. Let's just record them. Mr. Ghost, haha. Mr. Ghost, haha. That's mine. Appreciate it. Yeah. Got a new subscriber. Thank you, sir. See the police over there. I signed my keys. Why? What happened? We'll explain to you what's going on here in a second. Of course. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Sure. Uh, nothing except what I dropped over there. No, 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 no sir, no, sir. You have an ID on you, sir? Uh, is, uh, my ID is in my car. I can give you my info, whatever you need. Do you know your Caleb? Caleb? Your driver's license? Can I ask what's going on, or? Yes, ma'am. Uh, DUI 20 done. years ago. Yes, so ultimately, what he's saying is he sees about buck of police, it's a, a gun. It's it's not, so we've verified that. So we'll go ahead and wrap this up here and let this young get back to what they're doing. Okay. So, I appreciate it. So somebody thought you had a gun? Matt? Me? You go ahead and it. Not me. I have nothing. I, I understand. I've done this a while. Nobody's. But I, maybe him, not me. Okay. I, I, I understand. All right. Yes, sir. So it was his belt buckle. What a dummy. Idiot. We'll take it off. They're free, they're free to go. Just do me the favor, guys. Don't go into the post office. They don't want you in there. So we're do done. That. We're just done. Be, just be careful. That's all. I, if I knew he brought that bell buckle, man, I'm gonna, <laughs> I'm gonna slap him around. Dude. Well, you know what? It, there's no crime. I know that, but right? to even put, you know, I, I would have people to get sensitive and if I knew things. Yeah. So I appreciate your cooperation. Yes, you can resolve of course. Quickly and be of like, course. Okay, you're on your way. You're free to go. Of course. Right. I mean, so, I would know better than to wear a belt buckle like that. <laughs> to, to have this happen, you know. 
But I'll talk to him. I'll yeah, talk no, to him no, for sure. Thanks, do your thing. Thank you, sir. No, thank you for your cooperation. Yeah, 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 of course. Of course. Right, get- and would you look at that? He fully admits he knows that wearing that belt buckle was going to get this reaction. You're not going to tell me he didn't know that the other guy was wearing it. I'm sorry. You're not. I do find it hilarious. Not one mention of tyrants. Not one mention of tyranny. They answered questions. They ID'd. Look at that. And they still got to walk away. It seems to me that if the police were tyrants and if the video title was even remotely true, then they wouldn't have walked away from this. I'm just saying. Thank you so much for watching, guys. Please like, comment, subscribe. Let me know what you would like to see. And I will catch you on the next one.